I just wanted to show you guys a quote. Oh my god, I want to cry. Um, I um, don't know if you know already if I've mentioned it in any of my vlogs, but one of the things I want to do most in my life, at this point in my life, is to move to the West Coast, whether that be um, LA, San Diego, anywhere in between. I just want to be in Southern California on the beach, living near the beach, and um, making it work. Um, and it's seriously like my biggest goal right now. And um, I have been struggling whether or not to just do it and take a risk and move out there with like no money in my pocket. So I was reading this book called Atomic Habits and I've been reading it. And every time I need to hear something in this book, I read it and it's just crazy. So um, before my camera dies, let me read this quote to you. Um, this is crazy. So this guy, he was talking about how he quit smoking and he said that over and over he repeats these phrases and others like them to get it clearly in your mind. He says, you are losing nothing and you are making marvelous positive gains, not only in health, energy, and money, but also in confidence, self-respect, freedom, and most important of all, in the length and quality of your future life. I just thought that, that was so accurate and irrelevant, and um, I really have nothing to lose except for to fail, and if I fail, I come back, and if I don't, I make it work. And um, I think that that is literally a sign for me to move. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but it's literally like one of my biggest dreams to do. And um, I think that that the book and like the universe is just telling me to go for it and risk it all and not to look back, just to go do it so um i just wanted to share this with you i don't know if i can look back at this video in the future and be like like yes bitch like you did it um i hope so so i just thought i would like record this moment because i i don't know i just thought that this was like one of those moments in your life that are kind of a little bit life-changing and you don't even know it so yeah <laughs> Hey guys, it's been a minute. I um, haven't been vlogging a lot and I've just been in a weird mental space and I didn't feel right vlogging. I feel like not a lot of people talk about their mental health and um, I want my area on the internet to be a safe space. I want you to know that you're loved and that you matter. Um, I want to start that out by sharing my experience with mental health, um, especially now in quarantine, it's a little bit worse. Um, I've always struggled with depression and that is just something I live with. Recently, especially in the last year, I quit my 9 to 5, as you may know, took a risk and it didn't really pay off because I couldn't find a job in LA, which is where I was looking. Nothing stuck, so I actually just started serving at a restaurant and I hate that job because it's really hard to budget and save your money when you don't know how much you're going to make that day. So as soon as quarantine hit, I had the time to um, start working on my YouTube and my Instagram and that's where I found my true passion and that's what I love doing. This year has brought so many unknowns. I was furloughed from my job and I'm on unemployment right now and it gave me a lot of anxiety. After quitting my job last year, I just had the worst anxiety and um, it's really built up and now, um, and this is going to sound like really deep um, and it's kind of scary, but I, like I said, I like to, this is a diary of my life and I want to be honest and I want to be open and I want to be vulnerable for you guys because I feel like I wouldn't be me truly 
if I wasn't sharing that side of me and um, I hope that you guys appreciate my honesty and vulnerability because now you know the true me um, and you know that people struggle with things that you can't see. I have been recently having panic attacks and, and like anxiety attacks and oh, it's hard to talk about but like it's really scary and it's something that I've been going through but um, I actually want to share some really crazy news with you guys. I had a the like the worst anxiety attack yesterday <laughs> um, and I was with my boyfriend and he was just like what is going on um, and I was just really scared about the future and about money and like not being able to control my future and um, like wanting to get out of Georgia which has always been the goal like I just know I'm called to the west coast. So things kind of aligned yesterday and um, I applied for an apartment in San Diego. I wanted to like share that despite my mental health issues that I deal with on a daily basis and despite how insanely bad that they can get, things can turn around for you and things will work out for you and you can be okay. That I did that and I manifested that despite what I have to deal with on a daily basis in my mind. I just wanted to share that with you guys because maybe it could give you guys hope one day and it could maybe affect you and inspire you a little bit or something. I don't know. Just maybe give you like a sense of hope um, that despite feeling stuck or feeling trapped or feeling like you're too old or you're not where you want to be in life that first of all everyone's journeys are different. I just wanted to document this point in my life. I feel like it's a turning point and I feel like shit is about to be so real and crazy and I'm about to go out there in the middle of a pandemic um, without a secure job and just what I have in my savings and I'm gonna make it work. I just, I have to do this for myself and I um, am leaving like everything behind. I'm leaving my boyfriend behind. I just know that this is what I'm being called to do. I'm so happy. I'm just like really grateful for you guys. I love you and I am so excited to keep sharing my life with you and um, maybe like inspire you and motivate you and okay I'm really like feeling uncomfortable now because I'm like crying on camera but I'm so excited for this next chapter in my life and I can't wait to bring you guys along. Let's do this. <laughs> for the apartment um it's fine it's like my motto of 2020 i'm disappointed but i'm not surprised i yeah that um roommate fell through i just have to find a roommate or two or whatever and um hopefully move into kind of the same area because that area is like perfect so i just put my name out there, my info, and I put it out on Facebook. And I guess I'm going to try to get some random roomies. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I am just searching on here and looking through like a roommates wanted group, Facebook group for like women and stuff like that. And um, that way it's a little bit safer than just on a normal like roommates group so yeah i am just trying to get this all figured out i definitely need a roommate now like disappointed to say the least but i know that i'm meant to be in san diego or west coast or whatever <clears throat> and I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna get out there and maybe make some friends along the way. I'm putting this out into the universe, okay? I'm manifesting right now. I will live on the west coast. I am going to find roommates. I am going to find an apartment and I 
am going to find another second job while I'm out there. But I just wanted to put a little like manifestation out into the world and claim that energy because I find that that really helps me and I believe in it. I just wanted to like put that energy out and hopefully you receive it back. So I have a lot of news for you guys. I'm just going to set you here. I have some news. Why is this lighting so bad? Um, so, hey guys, this is the first of several moving vlogs. Wow! I am moving to San Diego and I'm so excited. I got a job um, and then I'm also, you know, wanting to be closer to the beach. I want to live in LA. The goal is LA, but I thought that I would live somewhere a little bit cheaper than LA first on the west coast see how i like it because i've actually never been and we'll see what happens i'm gonna be moving to the west coast i'm so excited y'all i manifested this shit i manifested i can't believe this is happening but i applied for an apartment today um hopefully it goes through i know we will but I know, you know, I just want to stay positive. We are definitely going to get this apartment. We've already paid the holding fee and everything. So we are going to get this apartment and I'm just like so excited. This is happening. It's really happening. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on my whole journey of how I am going to get my ass from Georgia to California. So in this first vlog, you're going to see me prepping. Um, I leave in about a month. So... I have a lot of shit to do to prepare. I have to pack. I have to declutter all my stuff and basically strip all of my stuff down to the essentials that I actually need to take. I'm going to try to sell the rest of my clothes, like take it to Plato's Closet or something. I'm getting a trailer and I'm driving 36 hours across the country. Oh my God. It's going to be like a three day road trip with my dad, I think. And we are getting a trailer for my car. I have to buy a hitch and put that on my car get that installed on my car and then rent a trailer load up the trailer i'm taking my mattress bed frame and as much stuff as i possibly can so that i don't have to pay for anything while i'm over there and yeah i'm just really excited i'm excited to take you guys with me i'm excited to show you guys how to move across the country on a budget because let me tell you i've already started budgeting this out and it is not cheap we are in a pandemic so it's gonna be a little bit harder to um, move. But yeah, I have two roommates. I found them on Facebook and they're random people I don't know. But honestly, I think that's the best way to do it. Like if you're comfortable living with strangers, just do it. Like just make sure that you vet them a little first and make sure they're not weirdos. But I think that I found some cool girls. I just can't wait to start this new chapter in my life. My boyfriend's not coming with me for now. He might come like next year or something like that. I don't know. But we're totally fine doing long distance. We've done it before. I'm just, you guys, I'm so excited to start this new chapter of my life. So I'm going to show you guys how I move across the country on a budget in a pandemic. Let's go. I am going to do the first step of moving, which to me, I think the first thing I gotta do is get my car cleaned. <laughs> like, I don't think I've gotten it cleaned in like the, any of the two years <laughs> I've had the car. So um, I'm gonna go get it clean so that when I start driving out to San Diego, um, it's not gonna be as like messy in here. My shit's not gonna get dirty and it's just gonna be like good smelling and not gross. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, I hopefully get approved for my apartment today. We applied and um, we like finished applying yesterday and I think they closed. So hopefully this morning our credit goes through, our background screening goes through and we can pay the rest of the security deposit and then start planning out our whole like theme that we're going with i think we're gonna do like a boho chic and then i need to decide if i am going to be getting a trailer from u-haul or if i'm just gonna try to fit as much as i can in my car and get a new mattress and bed frame and all that shit when i go out there so i'm gonna go get my car cleaned first and then we'll go from there Holy 
holy shit. <laughs> um, I'm in my sister's room right now because I've been working out of her room ever since she moved to college. I just got approved and signed my lease for my apartment in San Diego. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This whole thing has been such a process. This is happening. I'm moving across the country. Like, it wasn't real until just now. <laughs> I don't even know how to feel right now. I'm just so grateful and so happy and so excited. And I just like, I'm moving to California, what? I started my new job today, I love it. I'm gonna be focused on that and working a different part-time job in the meantime as well. And then also posting more on here, on Instagram. And I'm just so excited to start creating content, pumping out content. I'm going to be so much more motivated and inspired. And I just like, I cannot wait to start this next chapter of my life. Like, I can't believe this is my life. <laughs> this is happening. Um, so it's been a minute since I've vlogged and that is because I started a new job and um, I've been working at my old job too just to like make a little bit of extra money um, unemployment the extra unemployment ended so I'm basically just back to work now but I got excuse me I got a another job and it's in a beauty company um and i will talk about this a little bit more once i get started um but i'm really excited i i'm just like so happy because i am working somewhere that i'm actually passionate about and that was really hard for me to find especially being in the beauty community um so trash I've been kind of exhausted because I am on East Coast time and my job is on the West Coast. So, um, it's just like hard like having to schedule around their time versus like at all being on my time. So I've been working like later than five and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just really grateful, I'm excited and I just like, I know that this is like a sign, this is meant for me. Like, this is what I needed to like get on my feet. But I wanted to let you guys know that um, there's a little, there's been a little bit of change with my um, like traveling. I was going to get a hitch for my car. I was gonna get a trailer, rent that and drag it across the US. But now I'm just not gonna take my mattress. I'm gonna get, gonna get a new bed frame when I'm over there just cause it's gonna cost me like the same amount of money. And um, put less miles on my car and be less in gas so i am not going to be getting a trailer anymore um i will go over like all of that budgeting and everything that you need to do when you're moving so in this vlog i have not moved yet so I am in the process of getting ready to move. I move in a week. And if you're more interested on the travel side of things then, um, and like moving in and like empty apartment tour and everything, then wait until the next vlog or just watch this one and wait, whatever. Um, so the first thing that I am going to do is show you guys my room. And you are gonna be like, okay, you need to clean. <laughs> and you're right. I do but I just want to show you guys like an overview of like what I'm working with here and I'm gonna go through and show you guys everything that I want to take with me um and something that my dad told me to do is to go through my room with post-it notes and stick it on everything that I'm taking so um this is like everything big that I want to take including like mirrors like my vanity my makeup all of that stuff like my clothing rack, everything that's not clothes um, that I want to take, everything big that has to go in the car, that's what I'm going to sticky note and then we'll go from there because if I am going to be getting a trailer, I need to see if I even need it, uh, first of all, and if I do need it, I need to go get a hitch on my car and get the trailer going. Um, I'm planning on not 
taking the trailer if I don't have to and just buying a new um, mattress and bed frame. It's going to be a little bit cheaper to do it that way versus um, just getting the trailer and getting a hitch on my car and everything. Um, yeah, I would have to pay for all of that because the hitch did not come on the car when I purchased it. So that's going to cost me and then the trailer itself would cost me and it would cost more in gas because I'm hauling something behind me. So um, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm taking. I need to clearly wash my hair like I am just a mess right now, but whatever. Um, this is the first night. I actually like haven't gone through any of my stuff. I haven't decluttered. So I think I'm going to do that tonight after I go through and mark everything, all the big stuff that I'm going to be taking with me. So this is what you see when you walk in my room. Um, I have a lot of clothes to fold on the bed. My phone's over there and I have a dresser and my closet is over here behind these curtains. And there's a bunch of stuff up here on the dresser. Um, this is my vanity. Um, this is where all the good lighting comes from. And I need to clean all of this up and like just declutter everything. But this is the vanity. Do need to take out the trash, yes. Um, this is my drawer for my makeup and all the makeup and stuff that's on there. I literally need to clean my room first and then declutter and um, and go through and like mark everything that I'm taking. This is my mirror and my little like, um, I don't know, like little setup with my jewelry and some candles and it's just like a cute setup. I don't know if I'm taking this mirror yet. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I love it, but I also want to, like, start fresh, you know? Um, I have this, like, shelving unit from Walmart. I have one right here, too, that has all this crap in there, and this looks, like, so messy, I know. Um, I need to go through and declutter, like, every single thing that I have. Um, I have my TV. I'm taking this. Here is my bed that is full of clothes and just messy. Um, I am not going to be taking my bed or bed frame or mattress or box spring or anything, um, if I don't have to. If I get the trailer, then I will, but if I don't, then I won't take that. I'll get something new. I want to take my clothing rack because I use it for all the clothes that I want to shoot and I style and put them on there. Um, I have like some stuff, miscellaneous stuff up here, not taking any of that. And um, yeah, so that is the current situation that is going on with my room. I want to clean, clean my room first, put everything back where it's supposed to be. And then I'll go through and organize. I will take you guys along with me. And um, another thing I have to do <laughs> is pack for a beach trip that I'm going on. I'm going to a wedding and a beach trip in a few days. And um, it's going to be like a little vacation with my boyfriend. And then I'm going to come home for a day, pack everything into boxes, and put it in my car and leave the next day for California. So it's going to be a really busy next week or so and i think i'm going to be decluttering late into the night i'm gonna have a long couple of days packing up this room so that it's ready to go when i come back from the beach trip so yeah i'm gonna go clean my room okay so i am going to start sticking sticky notes on things that i'm taking so i'm taking this vanity definitely taking this desk for now i think i might get a new one once i'm out there but i do want to take the desk with me. I am absolutely taking my makeup drawer. Of course, I will try to get a new one once I'm out there as well. Really just trying to like start over, but I want to spend as least money as I have to for now. Um, I'm going to be taking my TV. I think I decided on taking this mirror because I think I could sell it if I wanted to. So I think that's always an option before I get my big floor mirror. Um, in case I like run out of money <laughs> out there, I will have this mirror to look at myself in and take selfies and stuff. I'm also going to be taking my um, clothing rack. So taking that definitely. Um, and honestly, I think those are the only big things. These like storage drawers or um, shelves I can get at Walmart. I can get it pretty much anywhere. They're only like 30 bucks from Walmart for this big thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am taking six big things. I am not taking this dresser because this thing is 
huge. Closet is going to be about the same size as this um, without the shoe rack in the middle. So I think that I'll be able to fit all my clothes. I'm just trying to take as little as I can. Um, and now I'm going to start decluttering. I think what I'm going to do is start tonight, start on this stuff down here. It is like my skincare, my hair care. I need to declutter a lot of it because I have a lot of product and um, a lot of it I don't use. Um, I've already decluttered all of my makeup. Those are in I think three or four separate videos on my channel already if you want to go check it out. I think that I can like knock it out tonight. just did so let me sit down real quick um as you can see i cleared out basically two whole um squares in my little shelf here so i went through all of my skincare and this is all of the skincare i'm going to keep um this may seem like a lot to you guys but i actually do use all of this um not all in one night but it is like almost my job to um, try new skincare and I am just obsessed with my skincare routine so yeah these are the ones that I'm keeping and these are the hair care products that I'm keeping also a lot but I do use all of these these are the products that I'm going to be getting rid of not that much but um it helps a little bit so these are like the skincare that I'm getting rid of they just didn't really work for me and they're kind of old they might be expired by this point um I have like a sample size um dry shampoo and it's almost empty so i might as well just throw that one away this is really old and it's like a leave-in conditioner from um marshall's and it like doesn't really do anything <laughs> and then i went on a uh, dry shampoo binge one day and i just tried a bunch of different ones and these are the ones that i wasn't a huge fan of next i'm keeping all of this as well um this is like a bowl i had some earrings in here but they were like tarnished and they were gross so i threw those out i have like a bunch of little like nose rings and i'm gonna start using this for like um maybe like my keys or other jewelry or whatever um rings and stuff so this is actually i think i made this in high school um i have like a box down here that has a bunch of hair clips in it i have my favorite lotions of all time this is my favorite scent of all time the brazilian bum bum cream by sol de janeiro deodorant and i have like this bucket full of bucket it's not a bucket it's like a jar full of scrunchies and i keep that on display and then up here i have all my like bath and body works um and victoria's secret uh perfumes or body sprays and i'm going to keep these because i like to use these after like the gym i don't like to wear perfume to the gym i like to like spray myself with this um or like if I'm going like to work or something, I like to use these. It's like a light fragrance. Um, so I have these and I have like some sample size um, perfumes up here and like travel size. So I'm keeping all of these. I will just have to find a place to put them and I just don't want to display them. I think they're like ugly, not gonna lie. Um, and then over here, I have all of my um, perfumes and stuff that I'm going to be taking. It's a little bit dark in my room, sorry about that. And then I also have all of my sunglasses. I have another one of these like display things that I'll probably be taking and um, putting all of these sunglasses on. I love sunglasses, of course, as you can tell. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking all of that. Tomorrow, I think I will try to work on more decluttering, but I'm exhausted and I have a long day tomorrow. I have to work both jobs all day and I am going to go to bed early because I'm responsible and an adult now. The sun is rising. It's 
7 in the morning and I just woke up and I'm sitting in my sister's room because it's the best lighting in here. So, um, anyways, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But um, today is packing day and moving day. And I'm also working my job. I wanted to give you guys a rundown of what is happening today while I'm in between working and like what I need to do to pack. So, I decided that I'm not going to take a trailer. And the reason why is because it's gonna be a little bit less expensive for me to just like start over and get like a really cheap bed frame from like Overstock or something and like a cheap mattress, like $200 mattress. So um, that is why I'm not taking the trailer. The trailer would have been like an extra $200 on top of that. So. try to pack up everything into my car i have an xterra so it's like an stv um if you have a smaller car i wouldn't recommend doing this i would recommend getting a trailer or even downsizing your shit even more um so i'm gonna try to fit this big list into a car So I did make a huge list of things I need to do and things I need to pack. Um, I'm really just taking the essentials that I need, which my essentials might be different to your essentials, but um, I am on YouTube. I am a YouTuber. I am on Instagram and beauty and makeup and all of that, skincare, hair care, all of that is my job. So. Um, I have to take all of that stuff. I can't really downsize it. Like, I have tried, but I just have, um, so much stuff that I use and also want to try for you guys. So, um, it's really hard for me to, like, downsize a lot of that. I have a list of stuff to do today. So, first of all, I want to do my laundry, of course. That includes my bedding. includes, like, blankets I have. It includes all my clothes anything like that I want to do my laundry um so I'm gonna start that this morning I need to uh, go to Walmart today and I need to go buy some like trash bags like big black trash bags so I can wrap my clothes in it so I don't have to take anything off the hanger and then I need to go get an oil change I actually think my dad might do that for me so it's like not as expensive it's like $80 for a synthetic oil change a huge tip when packing is to take out your suitcase all your bags that you have and use all of those first before you go out and get boxes now boxes could be free that's why i'm going to walmart to ask them but um, you can also go to like home depot and pay it's like a dollar a piece for them or something like that so they're not that expensive but it adds up so i'm leaving a lot i'm leaving a lot of like decor stuff i'm just trying to keep it very minimal because there's gonna be two of us in the car not just one honestly if you are having trouble figuring out what you need to pack go online google like packing list and go through that and write down everything that applies to you or that you're like oh i didn't even think of that um write that down i just kind of like went through last night and i was like okay what the fuck do i need to bring that is like super important to me and then let's go off of that so i did like skincare hair care makeup and brushes jewelry accessories clothes and then i went through and listed all the clothes different kinds of clothes like bras underwear socks t-shirts jeans leggings shorts um hung up clothes bathing suits hats belts all of that stuff and then shoes i have to go through all of my shoes and like pick out which ones i'm gonna take because i I have a lot. I may be living like five minutes from an Ikea, which is dangerous. That's what is on today's agenda. Yeah, let's go do it. Okay, so look a little bit crazy. It's because I'm frazzled. I'm, I've been working all day and I have so much 
that's shit I gotta do. Don't mind the underwear and bras hanging in, swimsuits hanging in the background. They're drying. Okay, so I wanted to share this little thing with you guys. Um, this is how I'm going to be packing my makeup brushes. Since I don't have a dedicated case for all of my personal brushes, I actually went through and I cleaned all the brushes last night so that I would have them ready to go when I get there um, and I don't have to wash anything and like travel with dirty brushes. So what I'm gonna do is I actually went to Walmart, bought gallon size freezer bags and I'm actually going to stick all of my makeup brushes in the bag. And I think I'm going to separate them by like face brushes and whatnot. So these are all of the brushes that I use like on a daily basis. But then I also have these and these. <laughs> so um, I washed all the ones that I've been using and I have all of those other ones that I am going to stick in these bags as well. I'm just gonna try to fill them up as much as I can. So that's my little hack for you today the makeup brush hack and then I'm also going to take these bags and put all of like my shampoo and everything in it I think I might put some jewelry in here as well I just am going to have to be creative about the jewelry thing I think I'm gonna like have to like tape the clasps so that they don't get tangled and whatnot I am just out of it today like I just don't know what's going on I think it's like just not real that I'm moving tomorrow it just seems like I'm like decluttering and getting rid of a bunch of shit when it's actually like I have to pack this in the car t tonight <laughs> or in the morning tomorrow and leave like that's crazy to me so I'm gonna have to pack these containers that I got from TJ Maxx yeah TJ Maxx and they're like pots for plants so got those for my brushes so in about 30 minutes I have to run over to discount tire and get my tires changed but that's gonna be a hot minute and then um, I'm just gonna have to like chill there or figure out what's going on I'm just like so out of it. so um, I'll show you guys what I've done so far this is the situation with my vanity this box right here it's a bunch of giveaways that I am going to do when I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, go subscribe and you might win a big box of goodies. So these are all my palettes right here. And then I have like lipsticks and stuff. And then in this drawer, I have like all the rest of my makeup. If you want to see what's in that, just go to one of my declutter videos. But um, I have all this stuff up here that I need to pack. So I need to figure out like where I'm going to put all this stuff. I need a lot to figure out so um i'm kind of frazzled honestly i think i might leave that for last because i need to leave the vanity for last because i have to break down the whole thing um and then um i still have a bunch of stuff over here so all that in the back has been done it's like like tanning supplies and all that stuff and then there's like a bunch of tech stuff here that's going to go into this right here i just need to organize it a little bit um i have all my shoes and shoes up there in this big middle closet. I have to go through all those shoes and pick out which ones. I have some clothes drying. So I am waiting for these clothes to dry. So before I bag them up, I'm going to keep everything on the hangers. Um, I have one more load of laundry to do before I start folding things. And then um, I can put them into bags. So clothes and makeup are going to go last. Shoes I need to go through. Um, these clothes are drying. I have to bag up all of these i have to go through my drawers and actually do that i have a bunch of sunglasses and i'm not taking any of this decor i'm just gonna start over with decor so um all i need to do is pack up like this kind of stuff um yeah just going through everything and just figuring out what i need to take so that's really gonna take me the longest so i'm just going to start doing that Okay, so I just got back from getting my tires put on. I will show you guys. I mean, nothing really special. It's just tires. And new tires on my car. And there's my dad going on. Cute baby. Is it our last night together? Okay. I'm actually really sad. I'm leaving my childhood dog. And I think it's going to be like the last time I see her. She's like really old. So that's why. I am now getting back to packing. So yeah, it's been a couple hours, but I haven't done shit because I've been getting my tires changed out. So now I'm going to actually continue to pack and get this shit done. So 
I can leave tomorrow. All right, you guys, it's like midnight and I still haven't done my clothes. I'm so exhausted. I just took a shower and it actually made me even more tired. So I'm like ready for bed. But um, I do want to show you guys what I've been doing for my clothes. So basically, I bought these big black trash bags from Walmart and I basically just put the cut the clothes on the hangers and scoop them up into the trash bag and tied the top that way it's a little bit easier to um keep the clothes in order and you don't have to like take them off the hangers fold them and then put them back on the hangers when you get there so that is what i'm doing um right now i have to finish my clothes i'm waiting for one more load of laundry to be done so i can fold those and pack everything up into like suitcases i saved my suitcases for all my clothes and yeah, so the last thing that I have to do is break down this um, vanity because it's my only source of light in this room right now. So um, I have to wait to do that last, clear off my bed and go to sleep because I'm exhausted. Everything else can wait until the morning. We're not leaving until like 9 a.m. So we're gonna be packing the car at like 7.30. So um, yeah, I'm just going to like wake up early and do everything in the morning, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these clothes out of the way. Can you tell I'm exhausted? I am like, I've been up since like 6 a.m., so I'm ready for bed. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go finish my clothes and I will show you guys what my stuff is looking like in the morning. So.